Women have been shaping human history since the dawn of civilization, but it's the month of March that was chosen to honor women throughout history. Okay, my name is Stacey Domingo, and I grew up in Rancho Cucamonga, California. I uh, attended El Tololo High School in Rancho Cucamonga, and as I was growing up, we're kind of uh, outside of LA, and there was a TV show that I used to watch when I was a kid called uh, emergency. So they had Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto and they were fire paramedics and when I was growing up I used to watch that show every summer and I told myself I wanted to be a fire paramedic. So I went to college and somehow changed my mind and decided maybe I'd go into the medical profession or marine biology <laughs> and um, then I circled back. Um, I had come to UH Hilo for marine biology and as I was riding my bike to work one day Tracy Mayer was out on the apron of Central Fire Station so I uh, I stopped and I talked to her and she's like yeah you should totally apply it's really good and they'll train you and um, so I applied for Hawaii Fire Department and I didn't get in the first time I failed the stairs part um, I had just had knee surgery like two months prior and I failed so I spent the next year just building up my resilience and my strength and took the test again and then I passed. As one of the few female firefighters in this department, how do you feel about breaking the gender barrier in a traditionally male dominated field? Hmm. So for me it's always been kind of hard because I don't feel like a hoorah women kind of person, but I, um, but I was also, growing up I was also very involved in martial arts and so there was a kind of a similar thing of being a black belt versus being a female black belt and um, in my mind I kind of um, came to terms with it's not about being a male black belt or a female black belt but it's just about being a martial artist and being a black belt and so when I came into the department I kind of had that mindset of just wanting to not be gender specific as far as you're a male firefighter or you're a female firefighter but rather you're just a firefighter doing the job however as I got more mature and then had more kids and then most of my kids were daughters, I realized how important it is for us to have role models in our community, um, especially in areas where um, a profession might be one gender more than another, that um, we can have some sense of equal representation of both genders to really give younger kids the opportunity to see themselves in roles as well as to also see that um, anything is possible that you're not going to be restricted by your gender. Quickly, what kind of accomplishments or contributions are you most proud of in this career in each of you? Hmm. I think for me um, one of the things that I recognized early on in my um, time in the department was that I might not be the fastest person or the strongest person and um, one thing that I really had to come to terms with for myself is that there's a place for everyone in this department and everybody brings a different strength to the table. I felt like going through my career one of my strengths was that I hold a lot of compassion and empathy for people so being on the ambulance felt like the right place to be. Um, and over time, that extended into being the, um, the coordinator for the peer support team and the SISM team and kind of just expanding our reach on that and really kind of advocating for the, the, mental, wealth, or the mental health of our, um, of our fire department personnel. I feel like um, sometimes being a woman I did use this to my advantage here is to be able to say like it's okay to have a rough day it's okay to um, not be okay after certain calls and to really as a woman to say that to a fellow firefighter and say like I give you permission 
Um, sometimes it's, I think, easier for people to hear from a woman than it is from uh, another man. So um, I really try to take advantage of that and use that to the best that I could in the department. And lastly, what advice would you give to aspiring female firefighters? <laughs> Do your research. I think my first day that we put turnouts on, I know it sounds silly, but I couldn't believe how hot it was. And I, for some reason, I, I guess when I was watching that show Emergency when I was growing up, they never sweat. So, <laughs> so I don't know if they just didn't have a lighter in their turnouts, but oh my gosh, we put our turnouts on for the first day and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how hot it is. Um, and so I really came into this position telling myself all growing up I want to be a fire paramedic, but I didn't truly understand what that meant. And so um, I would say do your research and be prepared. Uh, it's a demanding job and um, it's physically um, demanding, but at the same time, uh, I do believe that there's a place for everyone in this department. You just have to figure out where your niche is and um, you never know, you might have something to offer.